How's it going guys and welcome back to another video. So in today's episode I want to get to work on this field because this needs a lot of work. So what I'm thinking is we need a mechanical weeder and we probably need a rock picker. I don't know if we'll get away with a roller on this but I mean we're gonna need a, need a rock picker at some point anyway so we might look into it. A roller would be a lot cheaper though. A lot cheaper and probably a lot quicker to, to use as well. Hmm. I don't know. Anyway, I know a guy that happens to have a rock picker and a mechanical weeder. And he goes by the name of Zack. The exact same Zack that put us in a race car. Which was fun. I mean, dangerous, but fun. It was so much fun. Oh my goodness, I want a race car now. Um, but anyway, I think we should head over there. See if he's home. I don't know if he's working today. But, um... We'll see. We'll see if he's home. And we'll see if he wants to make a deal on that. I actually want to talk to him as well because I'm thinking about buying one of his trailers. He's got two over there and I want to buy the smaller one. And, um, oh, well. Scratch that idea. Do you see what I'm seeing? Well, there's two problems in this view. The one is our Zeta is still here, which means it hasn't sold. And the second is there's only one trailer over there. And it's the big one. I wanted to buy the small one. Hmm. Okay, well, that's less than ideal. Well, I'll find out what he wants for that big one. And maybe... See, the problem is... We don't have a lot of money. So if we're going to be buying a combine, it's probably not going to be very big. And I'm worried that if we buy this... Whatever combine we're buying might not reach over that. The the auger pipe of the combine might not reach over that. I mean, I know this can come off, but it's quite a job to, to split that. So, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'll ask him. If it's a good price, we might take it. Um, I don't know. I might have to look around on the internet a little bit and see if we can find something else. I know they're not too difficult to find and they're usually not too expensive. This thing is still here. Really nice thing. We don't have a use for that, but um, yeah. Anyway, this is the weeder that I'm interested in. I don't know how how much he'd want for this. I know new they go about 1500, so couldn't be much. Um, Where was the rock picker? I think he's got a rock picker somewhere here. There's a plow. Don't need that just yet. Probably not far off, to be fair. Uh, there we go. That is his rock picker. That's actually a really nice rock picker. I don't know if he actually uses that. Because he does farm as well. I don't know what land is his. I think this is. And I think, obviously, that is. I don't know if that is. I think he's got a fair bit... Oh, look at this thing. I keep forgetting about this thing. I wonder if this thing works. I mean, well, let's have a look. Where's the dump pipe on, on this? See, the auger is there. Obviously, when it booms out, it's just pretty high. Look, I don't think this thing works anymore. It looks like this thing has sat here for about 2 million years. Um, 4,400. This is such an old piece of equipment. I mean, if we could get something like this that actually works, I would... I would consider it. I would strongly consider it. I mean, I know it's a very, very old piece of equipment, but I mean, I would consider it. But I think this is completely broken. I mean, this thing looks like it's been sitting here forever. It's got grass growing through it. I don't think that thing has started in like 30 years. Um, but anyway, I, I don't know. Even that small one might actually boom over that. Hmm. I don't know. I think it, it depends on what you get. Right, um, that rock picker, I don't know if that is his or if that is for sale. But it looks kind of newish, so I think it's probably not going to be cheap. Anyway, um, oh, I like that tractor. I, I know that is his tractor. I don't think that's for sale. Um, I know he farms with that. That is a really nice looking machine. Maybe he would want to trade us for our tractor. Hmm, I doubt it. Anyway, let's see if he's home and see if we can make a deal. All right, so um, we made a deal on $800, and that obviously does not include the rock picker. The rock picker is just a bit too expensive. It is for sale, but he wants $10,000 for it. So I think I can find one cheaper somewhere else. 
Um, I hope I can find one cheaper somewhere else. But he wanted 800 for this, so I said fine. And um, so that is ours. So we can come and grab that. We probably should have come over here with the tractor anyway, because we were buying stuff for the tractor. So yeah, that would have been a good idea. But anyways, um, let's go back home. We'll grab the tractor. We'll hook that up. And then we can probably go straight into the fields. Um, I would kind of like to head up to our other field and see how things are going over there. Uh, we haven't been there for quite some time. So, I don't really know what the deal is, and if we've got any weeds or anything up there yet. Um, it's actually been okay. We haven't had a weed problem just yet on that field. In fact, we haven't had any problems um, with the field, the, the field that we're renting from Jimmy still. Um, once we've harvested that, we probably won't use it again. I think it's just too expensive to keep. And I'm not even sure that we're going to make any money on that field because it's costing us so much to rent it. Um, yeah, I don't know if we're going to make any profit on it. But anyway, it's, a, it's, it's worth keeping at this point. So, yeah. We shall see. Anyways, let's grab our... Oh, I forgot to ask him about the trailer. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway, I'll, I'll maybe give him a call later on. And find out what's the deal with the trailer there how much he wants for it there we are well we we keep adding to the to the equipment here which is nice and in terms of this little thing i've got an idea and i don't know if it's a crazy idea but i'll share that idea with you guys a little bit later on so because I'm still thinking about it and I mean we're gonna do a bit of field work here so it'll give me a bit more time to think about it because I I, I don't know if it's just a crazy idea um, I don't even know if we'll be able to to actually pull it off so it's it's not really got anything to do with the tractor that's sitting there but it's kind of got everything to do with the tractor that's sitting there so I know that makes no sense at all but anyway it'll make more sense when I sort of explain it later on and um, right the working width on this is pretty decent oh the tractor doesn't like that doesn't like that at all I think it's sort of dropping low down and lifting the back wheels off the ground oh my goodness this is like driving on an ice ring I mean look at that the tractor doesn't like that at all. Oh my goodness. This is less than ideal. Hmm. Well, that's not good. But anyway, I mean, it'll do. But that's a handful. My, oh my. That's not fun. It's working, though. It's working really well. Actually, the rocks don't look too bad. Is this sort of pushing the rocks back into the ground it might be hmm I think it's pushing the stones back at least the small ones I think it might be pushing it back maybe not I don't know anyway I think what we're gonna do is we are gonna jump into a real quick time lapse and we are gonna take the Zamboni for a drive and um, yeah basically drift around this field apparently because it seems to be very happy going sideways on what is apparently a very brown ice ring um, yeah I think that thing drops down quite low and it's lifting the back of the tractor up, so that's making it quite a handful but anyway um, for now sit back relax and enjoy Alright, well, obviously this is not working, so, um, I don't really know what we have in terms of a solution here, other than running across the road and asking Zach if we can borrow his tractor. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, that's, um, that's gonna be an awkward conversation. I don't know what we're gonna do with that piece of equipment, we might just end up selling it, because it's obviously useless without tractor. Let's hope it works better with his, but, um, yeah, if he's willing to lend it to us, but let's see. 
All right, so Zach said that we can use his tractor. Uh, the only problem is he's never used that weeder with this tractor. It's just a piece of equipment that he bought in to resell. Um, oh, this is nice. Oh, very nice. Um, right, gears. Yep, we've got those. Um, we, we don't have a heavy load, so we'll just go straight into high gear here. Oh, this is nice. Oh, I like this tractor. Oh... I want one of these. This is really nice. I wonder if he'll... Uh, I, I don't know. He probably <laughs> I was thinking, would he like take the white and we can buy this off of him? Use the white as a trade-in? Um, probably not. But um, yeah, anyway, he doesn't know if it'll work. It probably will because it's four-wheel drive. Ours is rear-wheel drive and it's lifting the back wheels and it's losing all drive when it does that. So... Um, yeah, not an ideal situation. I wonder if if we put another set of wheels on the white, if that'll help with um, situations like this. I actually don't know. Because, I mean, we could. We could put another set of wheels on that. Um, yeah, let's just back straight up. Luckily, it didn't hit the pickup there. I didn't actually look. Right. Let's see how this is doing. I thought this was pushing rocks into the ground but um no definitely not oh yeah look at that so much better oh look at that now that is working really well really really well actually beautiful so why can't our track to do this i mean yeah it's it's two wheel drive and um yeah it obviously obviously just doesn't like the implement it's just dropping it too low but um yeah at least we have a short-term solution now we'll have to find a longer term solution um but maybe my grand plan that i've got might actually solve some some of this um i don't know we'll we'll talk about that in a little bit but for now we're gonna jump back into that time lapse so sit back relax and enjoy for the second time So, um, yeah, that is job done, and that went pretty quickly, actually. I'm just trying to get this thing folded up. Beautiful. And this tractor is really, really nice. It's an absolute beast of a machine. Uh, we might actually... Yeah, we'll just drop this off in... Hmm. Probably just in here, I would say. We'll leave it here. Should be fine just there beautiful and we'll give this a quick wash and just to sort of say thanks that we could use this we'll obviously have to get a more permanent solution and like i said earlier we might actually have a more permanent solution but we'll find out in a little bit but we'll we'll get this cleaned up we'll take it back to zach's place and uh, ooh, this is it's such a beautiful tractor. It really is. I love the look of these. Absolutely amazing. It's a good condition as well, actually. I mean, it's got a bit of paint flaking off and things, but overall, it's actually really, really nice. There we are. It's just nice to, to give people their stuff back nice and clean. Yeah, it's a bit of paint and stuff flaking off, but... Nothing too bad. Yeah, so I just like to, um, if someone is kind enough to lend me something, and um, I, I, I like to give it back nice and clean, just to say thanks. Um, least I can do. Anyway, um, yeah, no more queries on, on that. We had two almost instantly, and heard nothing back from, from those people, but um, hopefully soon we'll have sales on that, um, or a sale on that and um yeah that's another thing that i noticed with us is it's amazing how quick you get used to to the turning circle of a two-wheel drive tractor 
This thing, goodness me, has got the turning circle of a planet. And it's not a big tractor. It's um, not a big tractor at all. Uh, right. We are going to leave that there for Zach. And um, hopefully he appreciates that we gave it a quick wash. And um, still need to speak to him about that. But I am going to phone up a taxi. And we're going to head over to um, the dealership. And um, the reason we're not driving down there... Well, let's let's get there and then we'll talk about it. So I'm gonna phone up a taxi and and I'll see you guys there. Yeah, all right, so we are over at the dealership and um, yeah, the taxi dropped me at the wrong entrance. But anyway, uh, we'll have a quick walk over. And the reason we took a taxi to here is because I plan on driving this home. Yes, we are buying another tractor we are buying a John Deere 4755 so I couldn't stop thinking about this tractor it's I don't know something about it is just I was drawn to it a lot now I know it's not in great condition but I phoned Jason I spoke to him about it and they want 15,000 for it so it is a lot of money but it also kind of isn't because apparently even though it doesn't look it it was really well taken care of like really well taken care of the engine and everything in this is apparently really good um so i want to buy this but i don't want to buy it for the farm so what i was sort of referring to earlier when i said i had an idea is i am thinking about starting our own sort of second-hand machinery sales shop and this would be well our second item technically because we've got the the other little tractor already so yeah i'm thinking because i sort of noticed that uh, zach is making a lot of money out of it and he's just doing a sort of on the sideline every now and again he buys a piece of equipment and but if we take it a little bit more seriously we could make a lot of money out of it and I think something like this would be a good place to start because we could buy this at 15,000 and probably sell it at I don't know 18 or 20,000 even just with a little bit of work on it 18 or 20,000 probably as is we could sell it for 18,000 so yeah I want to keep my eye out for other pieces of equipment and I want to start building up a bit of well a catalog I guess uh, build up some stock and we'll see how it goes. We've got a, a, a little bit of space out at the front of our property, property where the other tractor is sitting. Um, it's not actually our property, but no one's sort of complained about it yet. I think it's government land anyway. So, um, yeah, I don't know. It's probably sort of municipal. Uh, no one actually owns it. So, yeah, no one's complained. So, I'm just going to use that piece of land and um, market some of this. But we can use this on the farm if we need to because we own it so um yeah well we don't own it yet but we're gonna go in there and pay for it and drive it home today so um yeah i i think i think it might be good for us i mean it is a little bit risky because if i buy the wrong thing and i can't get it sold then we sit with sort of the burden of a very expensive piece of equipment i mean even fifteen thousand is a lot if i can't get it sold for at least that so but obviously we want to make money on it we don't want to be flipping equipment and breaking even so yeah i just think outside of farm because we don't have a lot of land at the moment um outside of the farming we could be doing something like this and making some good money which would lead to more farming because we'll have more money for more equipment and hopefully more land and um yeah just more fun stuff so um yeah let's go have a chat to jason and see if we can buy this thing all right so i have been busy with paperwork and things for almost two hours now but we are now officially the owners of this a john deere 4755 and um i did actually come out and start it up and all and it sounds really good and it does move and also um i haven't actually driven it i just put it in gear and moved a little bit around and everything seems to be working fine but we do get 
a warranty with them as well. So if something goes wrong within the first, I think it's 30 days, you said? 28 days? 28 days or 30 days? Basically the first month. Um, if something major goes wrong, they do cover it. So I do trust them and that's why I'm sort of comfortable buying this without spending too much uh, time around it. So um, yeah, let's um, fire it up and... Oh yeah. And take it home. That is so nice. Um, oh, many lights. Very bright lights, actually. Oh, look at that. Right. Um, how many gears has this thing actually got? 15 gears. Right. Um, that is a lot. There we go. So, um, yeah, I mean, I probably could have come here and bought this this morning, but I wanted to just really think it through for a few more hours before I actually pulled the trigger on it but um, I have been on and off the phone with Jason about it and um, yeah I don't think that Zach would have a problem with us doing secondhand equipment um, even though we're just across the road from him because that's not his full-time income that is just sort of a side hustle for him and it just keeps him busy and he just likes messing around with stuff so he buys stuff fixes it up and just sells it on and um yeah I, I don't think it'll be a big deal i'll have a chat with him anyway because i don't want any like bad vibes between us and zach because he's a really cool guy actually and um yeah he's he's a he's a good friend at this point i suppose and talking about good friends old jimmy over here has been very very quiet i haven't heard much from him so i don't know what he's actually been up to and I should probably give him a call at some stage. Um, just check that he's okay. I mean, there's a little bit of movement going on around the farm. Every now and again, I see that the pickup is gone. And I saw that he got that plow um, disconnected and the tractors and stuff put away. But, I mean, I know it's sort of off season at the moment. But he's just been very quiet. So, I don't know. Hopefully, he's okay. But uh, we'll, we'll give him a ring at some point and see if everything's fine and see how he's doing and see if he needs help with anything i mean i think we did this land for him and we did the other one i know he made a big loss on the cotton field that we plowed in so that's not fun and hopefully hopefully he's not too down about that i i think he probably had insurance on it so i mean it's still not great because you never get what you would have but um yeah, we'll we'll give him a ring at some point and see how he's doing. Um, and Rien, she's been quiet. I haven't heard from her for a long time. Um, so we'll probably give her a call as well. And um, same with Michael. Everyone's just been very quiet. But I suppose it's sort of... Everyone's just not doing much at the moment. I don't know if this will fit on our ramps. Um, I might not try just yet. Uh, maybe, maybe, let's, well, actually, let's park it like that, and we'll get out and see, I don't think that's gonna fit, but yeah, I think everyone's just sort of in the off-season at the moment, and, um, there's not much going on, that's probably why we're not hearing from everyone, oh, I don't know, that, yeah, it'll probably make it, probably, I wonder if it'll be able to carry the weight, I mean, it seems quite sturdy, I didn't actually ask, what the sort of capacity on it was but anyway it seems to be holding okay um man i don't want to drop off the side with this thing is that okay um yeah that's sitting on there it's not ideal but it's it's okay ish can we oh goodness can't squeeze through there yeah we can come back a little bit further Let's um, lean over a little bit. Can see a little bit better. Eh, that'll probably do, I would say. Okay, so that is our new tractor. Um, yeah, we need a bigger ramp. That's probably not going to do. I think that that'll probably damage the tires if it sits like that for too long. I think I'll end up taking it off. Um... It's quite a big tractor, so we shouldn't have too much hassles working underneath it. We don't really need the ramp. Um, so we'll probably pull that off and just leave it... Mm, probably just leave it here for now. 
Um, in front of that, oh, day night switches on the lights, really nice. Um, or we might actually just put it in there, and we'll just pull the the white like in here or next to it. There's there's quite a bit of space. I think we'll leave it in this bay, um, while we're working on it. But yeah, so let me know what you guys think about the secondhand dealership. And before I forget, and before we end this, we have to do the quote of the day. So, the quote of the day is, the bad news is, time flies. The good news is, you're the pilot. So that's a really good one. So, for those of you who don't know, quote of the day, and um, what you need to do is write that quote in the comments below this video, and the first one to do so gets pinned. So, um, yeah, go do that. Um, but anyway, yeah, so let me know what you guys think about the the dealership. I think it'll be pretty good. I mean, it'll be a little bit of a casual thing. It's not going to be like putting up a building or anything. Um, but just buying equipment, fixing it up, and reselling it at a profit, hopefully. And making a bit of extra money because I want to expand. Because um, we've got this one piece of land, and it's a decent piece of land. But um, we still need quite a bit of equipment and I would like to buy another piece of land at some point. Because we're going to lose um, Jimmy's field or the, the field that we're renting from Jimmy. We're going to lose that as soon as we harvested that. Um, oh, I never said that um, I did actually pay off 5000 of our loan as well. So our loan is steadily coming down. I mean, we're still paying interest on it. Quite a bit of interest, actually. Um, but I did pay 5000 on our loan, so we only owe 95 I think, at the moment. Um, so, yeah, that is slowly coming down, and we'll try and pay as much on that as we possibly can. It's starting to go dark really early now. It's only 5 o'clock, and it looks like it's, yeah, like 7 or 8-ish. Um, but anyway, that is going to be it for today, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure to give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you all next time.